we had that same push and pull with this next one. One that should be bigger, especially because it has a lead actress that you just mentioned was from a Sundance movie, and not just Julia Louis-Dreyfus, freaking Eddie Murphy. You people yep. came out on Netflix. The story of Jonah Hill really wanting to be black, if you haven't seen him already <laughs> in all the other films. It is him and his Jewish family kind of having to unite with Lauren London and her family, Eddie Murphy, Neil Long, mm-hmm. uh, because they hit it off after this kind of random, awkward, meet cute. They fall in love uh, because of shoes. Again, it's Jonah Hill really trying to be black. This became a movie where, <laughs> as much as I thought it was going to be a racial thing, they got into a lot more that just off the bat are not conversations that are going to hold up well in a rom com. It is Jews right. and blacks hashing it out. I don't mm-hmm. know what they thought they were going to go for this, but I think people are just tired of Kenya Barris. And he's got another one. Did you hear about this? Besides the Wizard of Oz remake, <laughs> he's got another one where the premise is somehow pushing the envelope way more than you people was. We laugh, though, a little bit. Yeah, Until I we mean, did it, Zach. It's, it's, it's another riff on Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which has been kind of like the okay. go-to for the sort of interracial romantic comedy, awkward meeting of the parents thing. And there, there's... It's definitely, like, not one of the better versions of that. But I think there are enough people that we really respond to really gifted gifted comedic performers here that they're able to mine some laughs out of this. I was just really happy to see Jonah Hill back in, like, Apatow movie mode where he kind of – it kind of feels like he's shooting the shit and, like, throwing out lines as he comes up with them and stuff like that. Like, he's really funny. Yeah, when he gets to kind of sit back and comment on a scene and he doesn't do that as often anymore. So it was nice seeing him like that. Uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus is a national treasure, even if she is given like all of the most cringeworthy moments in this movie. I think one of the things that I took away from it was really that it's it's too committed to its awkwardness and, and it does it in... It does it at the expense of enjoyment. Like, I think the better movie would have given them more moments of connection, of reconciliation. There's a a moment in this movie when Eddie Murphy's character brings Jonah Hill's character to a basketball run, and Jonah actually does okay. And it's it's a surprising turn, because at that point, you're just expecting them to pile on the awkwardness. Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Laura London's side of the story never gets that, and it it feels like it's missing... It, it feels like it's missing something more because otherwise it's like, why are you even still spending time with these people? This is awful. I but I did, agree with you 100%. Yeah. It's uneven. Go yeah. for it. Go for it. Because, yeah, no, I, but, I agree with it, you. But it did make us laugh a little at the beginning until it just kept like repeating the same joke over and for over sure. and over again. You can have a recipe where you really enjoy some of the ingredients, but then you start wondering, you're mixing these together, and together they're just not as good as when they're apart. I, Dude, yeah. when Jonah Hill, first of all, I agree with you about it in be, being imbalanced, and it's so imbalanced to London, Eddie Murphy, and everybody else. All the butt of the jokes is their stuff getting burnt, their stuff yeah. getting hurt. Like, it's almost like he was too scared to go at the Jewishness. That's also the other half of the movie. So he relied on them being the butt of the joke. There's a sequence here. He's wearing red in L.A. They don't give him an ending. Zach's completely right. He gets to Mm -hmm. leave this thing unscathed. Oh, all of a sudden he's a great NBA player when it comes to that scene. But he's right. You get Julia Louis-Dreyfus. She gets to end scenes. She gets the final punchline on certain mm-hmm. talks. She's going on these retreats, but never gets to be the butt of the joke. Everybody else gets to be. I, I thought it was a little imbalanced there for that. There was also the aspect, you said you didn't believe this. <laughs> we had <laughs> All right. yeah. a rumor mill. I'm telling you that this man wanted to be in this movie so bad to get a kiss <laughs> with another black woman so that he can get his street cred up. It turns out they couldn't even do that. In you people, they faked the kiss at the end, and supposedly, uh, hypothetically, allegedly. Where do you get this from, bro? It's a cast member <laughs> in the movie. When he came out, all what right, his name Andrew. Can, can when I he tell came you out my the movie? I was like, yeah, shoot. Well, go it's, ahead. it's not like it's been confirmed by lots of people since then, right? This is one guy on one podcast interview who's like trying to sound entertaining and stuff. So I, I'm not saying I, like. 
it's a pretty direct source, but I, I don't know if I like believe him. Uh, I, you know, good journalism, you need two sources at least. So let, let's like take a step. Here's what I think happened. Let me tell you my, my breakdown. What? On it. He's, in the, he's I, in the movie. He's part of the cast. Exactly. Here's what I think happened. I think for the wider shots that they usually start with for f- things like this, they maybe had them do the lean in and not actually kiss because they know they're going to go to the close up for the kiss. So they only made them kiss on the close up and you don't need the entire cast there because it's the close up. So he never saw them kiss. Doesn't mean they didn't kiss. I'm perplexed, Zach. Uh, I'm going to go with the person. <laughs> Do you not like Andrew? Is that what it is? I'm going to go with I the just, person I, who was on the set. I don't believe it. And the fact I don't that believe the it. shot. Why? Why? What's the purpose of it? I'm, I'm, I'm confused, Zach. What do you mean? I just told you what the purpose of it is. This girl did not want to kiss Jonah Hill at the end of filming the entire movie with then him. Then she doesn't have to, take, have to take the role. They're the one thing. When I you agree. do a rom-com is you kiss the other guy. 100%. And Eddie Murphy is acting worse than he does in his interviews because he definitely didn't want to be there. But they said they'd have <laughs> Roscoe's on the menu or something. He also does a lot of people don't want to be in this movie. Uh, I, I can't find the shot here for when they actually do do the kiss. But like yeah. you could see it on the zoom in, dude. The shot you're saying that would have been a close up isn't a close up. Everybody's in the background. It's CGI, bro. They pushed them in. Well, How I don't Reporter? know. Got that. it right I here. Just, I don't know. I don't understand questioning it. I, I think you should be questioning why people took this role if they did not intend on connecting the kiss to begin with. But I think Jonah Hill still <laughs> he's still on the hunt for it. Uh, I think it's confirmed. I think we got enough people here, including people in the cast. But it just adds to how jumbled up the movie is. I think that's how yeah. terrible it was that you you literally couldn't have a connection. The between article the, two the article you're the citing cast. only the article you're citing only references that conversation. The Hollywood Reporter has reached out to Netflix for comment. Nothing else. It sounds like you don't want the person to be true more than it's bad journalism. The story you have being to true. double. You have to source your information. I'm just you people up for didn't journalism. source its information for half of its jokes. <laughs> I, I we'll keep a pin on it. I think it'll come out that it's true or more than that. It's not going to because Zach. In what world is Jonah Hill going to come out and be like, yeah? I got CGI blocked. And then Netflix had to spend another... Who's going to admit to that? From what you can see in the movie, know. it's embarrassing. They barely make any connection. Uh, I think it just adds to the mess of the movie that it is. Uh, if, the, if the two leads can't even can't even come together. But you people... We'll see. It has some funny jokes. You said you didn't know Sam yeah. Jay that much, and, and you were impressed by her. I thought she was, she was pretty funny in the movie. So, you had some, some moments yeah. there, but... Kenya Barris and his name being on a project does not seem to be the thing that people are looking forward to. So yeah, you people definitely out on Netflix, getting more shots than I would be giving Kenya Barris at least too many, but that's his Netflix deal.